<laughs> Too close. <laughs> oh. <Maybe. laughs> and uh, good for first of all, congratulations on your win today. Thank and, you. And could you evaluate your game today? Which was good and which was not good? Yeah, um, I think um, the best thing I did today was compete well. Um, you know it's not going to be perfect in the first round, um, so I came in expecting to have some challenges. Obviously the crowd was not going to be with me today. Um, the Korean girl played really, really well today. I thought um, she's had a really good year, so I knew uh, that it was going to be a big challenge coming into today. Um, so I'm just really happy to have competed well and come through. Is there any pr any additional pressure for that you're against the local player and the, all the crowds cheering <laughs> only for the local players? Then? Yeah, I, I don't think it's any additional pressure, but it definitely helps to have the crowd on your side. Um, it gives you energy when you need it. Um, so it, it can be tough to be up against uh, someone who feels that support. Um, but again, I just tried to stay focused, not worry too much about the environment, and um, I'm glad to have gotten through, and hopefully next round there will be more support for me. <laughs> yes. Um, I heard that you're, this is your third time in Korea, right? Yes. In, 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 especially in 2014, yes. you get through the qualities and go yep. to the main row and mm -hmm. go to the qualifiers, quarter, quarter quarter right? right? Yep. Yes. So, and, and after that, after the year two, 2015, you, you didn't participate. In. Yes. But last year, you participated this one. Uh -huh. uh, so, this is your third time. So is there any special for you? Okay. Yeah, I, I love Seoul. Um, this was actually, I think, the place where I got my first ever quarterfinal. Yes. So, um, this is a very special tournament to me. I always feel that I play well here. Um, I really like the city. So, um, I enjoy myself when I'm here, and the fans are all awesome and really engaged in the tennis. And after the great result in 2014, you get into the top 100. Yes. Right? Yes. yes. This is first time. This was the tournament. Yes. 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 Yep. That means more. Yeah, yeah. No, it, it's definitely a place of great sentimental mm -hmm. value for me. Um, uh, again, like to have that many um, first-time mm -hmm. accomplishments, a quarterfinal at WTA, yes. breaking into the top 100. I definitely have good memories here, and I take a lot of confidence with me onto the court here. And. Uh, Next question was goes to maybe the Stafford story. Uh, <laughs> okay. So Nicole, you've been an NCAA champion twice. So is there any difference with the um, college tennis and the professional tennis after you for your transformation? Yeah, it's completely different. Um, you know, all the players in college are very talented, um, but when you have full time um, attention to your tennis, uh, the women are much more physical. Uh, you know, it's a big transition and you don't get too many free points. So um, definitely there was a transition period, but I do think that I learned a lot about how to win in college. And that's one of the most important things that you can have is just that knowledge that, you know, you can be a winner and um, make it happen at the biggest levels. So you're, you're one of the uh, players that are getting much more attention. So, uh, like, you're getting into the events, the free events, we're going to charity events, and also, I heard last year you were invited for for invitation in the Caribbean island with uh, oh, yeah. Mr. Branson. Oh, yeah. So, with all the attention coming at you, um, how do you feel compared to the before when you were just getting into the tour? Honestly, like, I don't feel that there's that much attention. I mean, um, I'm very thankful for the fans that I do have, um, but I think my profile is still pretty low-key it's not like I get recognized or anything outside of a tennis setting so um, you know I don't feel any additional pressure if anything I really like it when um, you know a fan today came up after the match and said oh I follow you on Twitter I follow you on Instagram it's awesome to meet you in person and I really do um, enjoy that there's definitely no pressure from that it's just cool and fun can you explain how did that invitation came after? Oh, yeah, I think, um, you know, the Necker Island had just been in contact with my agency and, and they put me up as a, a prospective player to go. So it was a, a really cool opportunity. The stars just kind of aligned and actually um, we we're planning to go again this year, but um, Hurricane Irma came through the island. So we're not sure whether it'll be uh, going on this year or not.
So this year has been a little tough for you, but I think the the U.S. Open when you face Pliskova, I think that was a very tough match. But I think it's kind of a turning point for you. So, how do you see the Asian swing going for you this year? Yeah, I you know I see the turning point having been a little bit different. Um, actually, I skipped out on the grass season this year and tried to build my uh, confidence on the hard courts. And I started at some very small tournaments. Uh, you're talking like. 10, 15 fans watching each day, so it was definitely like, you know, just about the tennis and trying to get better, and I think when I went back to that level and just kind of tried to recreate my game, I gave myself a really solid base to build on for the rest of the year. So even though the highlight of my year has been that match with Pliskova, I think the turning point was much earlier when I made that decision to go back down and really work on my tennis. Okay. And in ATP, there is a um new tournament, which is the next generation, but WTSI, two, maybe two years, maybe, two, maybe 2014 and 2015, there is a next, there is a tournament like similar to the next gen, but nowadays WT doesn't have any... It's like Rising Stars yes, yes, or rising something? Stars, yes. Okay. Yeah. Do you, how, what, are you, what, what are your thoughts for the matches? <laughs> I don't really know. I don't particularly have an opinion on it, but um, I'm definitely not a rising star anymore. I'm old. <laughs> so, so. WT used to describe you as a rising star. Yeah, when I was young. <laughs> so now it's different. So I don't think it pertains to me anymore, but <laughs> hopefully I can be an old rising star. Upcoming star, upcoming. Yeah, there we go. And one, one more question. Okay.